What's up everybody, this is Yair and welcome to your top 10 drawings for this week. Okay, so let's do this in number 10. We got this drawing by an unnamed person of Shenron. So drawing Shenron is a bit complicated and I like that you did a good job on the dragon scale. And I love the coloring. You also managed to keep the right proportions, although uh, this area should be fixed a bit. I also like the stars in the background and I think this is probably uh, the moon. You could have probably add some shadow to the moon and uh, give it a nice gradient. Uh, but overall that's a really good job on Shenron. Uh, good job if you're uh, by accident seeing this video and you want to tell me your name. Please do and I'll add an annotation. Okay, and now we are moving to the number 9 spot. And in number 9 we got this drawing of Kenpachi from Bleach, made by TN. And that's a really good drawing, the details are spot on. I also like the coloring, it doesn't have much blending but uh, that's a choice he made. And he stick to it and it looks really good. So good job TN and we are now moving to the number 8 spot. And in number 8 we got this drawing of Itsugaya from Bleach as well, made by Emilio. And I really like this drawing, you picked a very nice pose, I really like the fierce look on his face, I like the blood. And that's a bit uh, psychotic of me to say but uh, that's a really good drawing. In my opinion, you could have put more emphasis on the background and not just color it. It kind of looks like you slacked off a bit there. Uh, but other than that, that's a really nice drawing. I also like uh, the inking process you did there, very accurate. The eyes are perfect. That's a really good job, Emilio. Looking forward to seeing more stuff from you. And we are now moving to the number 7 spot. And in number 7 we got this drawing of Luffy by Monir. And that's also a very good drawing. Obviously we got a full figure drawing. Um, you managed to keep the right proportions of the torso, the arms, the legs. You really did a good job regarding the proportions. And the details are also quite good. From top to bottom, the creases, that's a very good job. In my opinion, you should work a lot more on your coloring skills. They are a bit behind regarding your accuracy. One thing to solve it is add more layers. For example, this part should be a bit darker. And you should also try blending since you are using uh, color pencils. And you should also try avoid leaving a lot of uh, white spots. I know this one is highlight, but you got a lot of areas, for example right there, when you leave a white spot or when you color outside of the lines. So take that into account for your next drawing, but overall I really like this drawing. Good job Monir, and we are now moving to the number 6 spot. And on number 6 we got this awesome drawing of Spider-Man made by Daniel. And I really like this drawing, I wish I could have had a much better quality, but I'll manage to work with what I have. So um, obviously uh, the coloring here is very good, I also like those tiny highlights, I also like the background right there. Um, the proportions are very good, the accuracy is also very good, the cheek looks good too. Um, overall that's a really nice drawing. If I want to nitpick I would say uh, that this area right there anatomically it's a bit broken but uh, like I said that's uh, nitpicking cause overall that's a very good drawing. And now we are moving to the top 5. So 
So we open the top five with this nice join of Vegito from Thomas. And I uh, really like the pose he chose. The coloring is spot on. I also like the nice aura you gave him. Uh, also the proportions are very good. Um, the details are also spot on. What I suggest to you is work more on your hand drawing. It's a bit inaccurate, uh, this seems a bit sloppy and I also will add a lot more contrast to the aura, a darker look uh, for example in these edges. Uh, try to make a nice gradient effect, you know. And uh, of course uh, this uh, belt of his should be in a different color, a brighter blue. Um, but really overall that's a very good drawing good job Thomas and we are now moving to the number four spot and in number four we got this drawing of Minato by Gianid I hope I said it right um, this is a very good drawing uh, the proportions are really good the coloring is also very good. I also like the creativity of those uh, nice spots in the background. <laughs> and you also have uh, custom made Copic markers which is pretty cool too. I think you did a nice job on the hand overall. Although uh, this area is a bit sloppy. Um, but that's like I said uh, nitpicking at its best. Overall that's a very good drawing and the look on Minato's face is also pretty accurate. Uh, you should have uh, worked a bit more on the symbol of course. But overall that's a very good drawing. Keep it up and we are now moving to the top 3. And in the number 3 spot we got this awesome drawing of Goku made by Sergei. So uh, this is a very good drawing. I really like the coloring. Obviously uh, we can see that he used the uh, color pencils and the blending is spot on. You can see a nice gradient effect. Although this isn't uh, the highest quality of picture we can definitely notice that the coloring is in a very high level. I also like the lightning effect you gave him. You also made to keep the right proportions of the body. Some criticism, I would suggest to you to work on the hands more. Uh, for example, this uh, thumb of his seems kind of off. Uh, it seems bent and a bit narrow in this area. Uh, this finger also should be more straight. And uh, the bump above the eye should be slightly thinner. But overall, just like I said before, uh, I really love this drawing. So uh, great job, Sergey. Keep doing what you're doing. And we are now moving to the second place. And in the second place, we got this awesome drawing by Adjerim. I really love the coloring of this piece. He managed to give us a nice glowing effect in this area from the light that obviously comes from the left side. And I really love uh, the drawing of the hand, very accurate, details are spot on, even the fingernails are accurate. Honestly this is a very good drawing, the background is nice too, uh, you give him a nice highlight right there. The face is very accurate, so if I had to nitpick, I would probably work on this area a bit more. I try to get a more uh, fine gradient look like you managed to did here with the hand. I'm sure you probably noticed that yourself, uh, but seriously overall that's a very very good drawing, high level, good job Adjerim. And we are now moving to the number one spot. And 
And in the first place, we got this drawing by Jerry of Naruto and Sasuke. And I will like the composition of the frame. Uh, the angles are quite difficult to draw and you manage to do a very nice job. I also like the coloring and the way the water flows around. Uh, the details are done very good. The scene is very alive. Uh, we obviously got a lot of drama going on here. I would have liked to see a nice color of the sky. In my opinion, you should also work more on the coloring to get a nice gradient from here to here. Obviously, use the markers for this area, and this is done by color pencils. And you could blend the two very well, just try to add more layers to this area. That way you get a nice gradient. And But really, really, that's a fantastic job on the drawing. It really attracts your eyes. Awesome job, Gary. You definitely earned the top spot. And obviously, great job to everybody who made it to the top 10. It was very difficult picking the top 10. I've got a lot of great drawings. So some of you might probably be in the next top 10 drawings. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'm gonna upload a new tutorial tomorrow on how to draw hands. So make sure to check that out. Please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And of course subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to send me your drawings for the next slideshows or the next top 10, I'm gonna leave you my email address down below. And the last thing to say is, keep being awesome and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.